Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between that. Today is a special day, and for a special day, I want to be doing one of my favorite things, which is, of course, bullying everyone's favorite emerald mine-owning nepotism billionaire, Elon Musk. But before I get into that, what is this special day? What could I possibly be celebrating? Well, allow me to show you. Today... I'm turning 10. It was supposed to be a, a 1,000. It is my 1,000th video on the, the voice crack. I, I'm, I'm so excited. It was my 1,000th video, and I, yeah, that smiley face is not a zero. I'm aware. Thank you for letting me know. I, they're out of zeros. I'm not celebrating my 100th video or anyone's centennialth year of being alive. I'm celebrating my 1,000th video on the website. And of course, for something like this, I wanted to do, as I said, my favorite thing, which is bullying the muskrat. Because recently, there was an article written about him being outed for something really weird. He's a weird guy. We know he's a weird guy. He went on SNL dressed as Wario. I don't know what's going on in that... that, 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 that. <sighs> wow, that was... That was really rough. He's a weird guy. He's a very strange lad, if I may. And recently he was outed for owning a Twitter account where he roleplays as a two-year-old. What? What? He's an interesting fella. And of course, this isn't just any two-year-old. He's roleplaying as that one kid that he decided to name after an airplane. You know, this one. I'm not reading that. I'll probably summon something. And of course, this is a really weird situation that, shockingly enough, I've known about for a little over a year now. Around April in 2023, Elon Musk was outed for role-playing as a two-year-old child. And then, in April of this year, he was outed for role-playing as a two-year-old child. Live footage of Evan forgetting how the passage of time works. He'd be role-playing as a three-year-old child. Anyway, back to the video. And very recently, there was a 108-page document that was put together due to a defamation lawsuit against Elon where he had to openly admit that he has not just the account role-playing as his kid, but a second account called Baby Smurf 9000 where he role-plays as an Elon Musk fan. <laughs> It's somehow so fitting, like, that Elon Musk wants to get inside of his own ass so bad that he roleplays someone wanting to get inside of Elon's ass. I think it's poetic. It's yeah, like it's poetry. poetry. It rhymes. Lot. Before we read through a bunch of tweets of a 54-year-old man roleplaying as a toddler, I want to talk about the actual defamation lawsuit just so you have the over-encompassing lore of this story. And, of course, it revolves around Elon being a brain-dead nematode. It's all about a defamation lawsuit that came from a guy named Ben Brody because there was recordings that were leaked of a neo-fascist, neo schmuck rally where people were fighting back against it and then it ended up getting thwarted and taken down and in it Ben is featured he is a character in that story and Elon tries to accentuate a conspiracy theory that it was the entire rally was set up by the government to make people hate Nazis I didn't know that was hard to do! Oh, by the way, these tweets that Elon put out trying to accentuate a conspiracy theory are still up to this day, despite a defamation lawsuit going down. <laughs> and he had to admit in this lawsuit as well that the other account, which he says in the account's called Baby Smoke 9000, which doesn't exist and has never existed, but people managed to connect him to Baby Smurf 9000, is another account that would accentuate these conspiracy theories because he's an Elon fan. He's a fan. He's just a big fan of the guy. And of course would say the exact same things. And now that you're caught up on the over-encompassing Five Nights at Freddy's lore of this entire situation. Let me break it down in FNAF style. <laughs> I, I didn't even mean to say that. Why am I still dancing? But these court documents essentially just confirmed our suspicions that a 54-year-old multi-billionaire is role-playing as a toddler online. But we knew about this a year sooner, and I want to take you down that rabbit hole rather than just talk about the fact that he had to admit it in front of a courtroom, which is hilarious. But I, I want to talk about how we figured it out, and it all starts with Elon talking about monetization on Twitter. Around a year and some change ago, Elon dropped this tweet talking about how content creators who wish to enable subscriptions can do that, and you can monetize and make some money on that funny-looking dead bird app. And you might notice from the massive, obvious red YouTube thumbnail circle, there's an extra account on there. There's an account that... Some people might be able to find online if they look hard enough, and in fact, they did do how? Diddly do dot. What the fuck am I saying? They found the account. They managed to find the account. It goes by the name of Ernum Musk. Er, Ernum? Er, 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 I'm sorry, I started beatboxing. ERMN Musk, and it also goes by the name of Elon Test with the profile picture that's a picture of his son. Uh, I'm not saying. I, I'm not. My furniture will start floating. And so, of course, the internet decided to put a gaping hole in Elon's Cybertruck shaped chest and dig into some of these tweets that he's been sending out on this account where he role plays as his child, maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Maybe when he sends out tweets like these, look at all these. They're scrolling by really fast. You can pause and read them, but don't worry. We're going to read them too. And we're going to start with the one that you just saw them misspell the word prawn on, which is this one. What is going on, Elon? <laughs> you are posting a porn joke and then having your child in your child your child respond to it that's strange I, at least he doesn't spell the word properly so we know he's a kid <laughs> he's an innocent little lad an innocent little lad that seems to be very interested in nightclubs there was this tweet that was like it feels like we we're in a nightclub and the lights just turned on and he's like what what nightclub were you at i wish i was old enough to go to nightclubs they sound really fun 
Do I even need to make a joke? This is the joke. The joke is there. I also really wonder if, like, the lack of reading comprehension where he thought that they were talking about being in a nightclub when they were just talking about the lights feeling like a nightclub was due to Elon having a lack of reading comprehension or him role-playing a child that just doesn't have reading comprehension or a third more devious option b being both. And also, unfortunately, guys, Elon's gonna have to stop role-playing as a two-year-old. Because he turns three on May 4th. Yay! Oh my god! That's actually really... That's really cool. Like, imagine being born to the guy who is associated with going to the stars on Star Wars Day. That's sick. Like, good on X... I... I... I, can't, I need a Necronomicon to read that. I also really like this one. <laughs> For the love of God, can someone follow me? Pray emoji. How does a two-year-old give a shit about who's following him, by the way? I'm sorry, three-year-old. He His birthday, May 4th, for, be with you, or something, I don't know. And sticking with the theme of strange sexual tweets that this 54-year-old Nepo billionaire has been sending out in the form of a two-year-old, there's a comment under a picture of the girlfriend of Sam Bateman Free, who, for a quick catch-up, is the guy who owned FTX, it's a cryptocurrency in which he used it to steal billions of dollars and is now in prison for 25 years. Only, only 25 years. I love the system. But there was a picture of his girlfriend that was posted by this guy saying, Bro, had a net worth of 16 billion dollar USD and risked it all for this. The grippy must have been unfathomable. And Elon's child, not him of course, commented under it, I heart librarians. What? Why? That's just disgusting. I really can't tell what's going on here, because this feels like some sort of developmental issue with Elon, where he has this desire to act as a child, or maybe he's just tired of being famous and wants to act as a normal person for once. Acting as a two-year-old is really weird, though. There's a lot of signs pointing towards him not being that well, and there's a lot of signs pointing towards him not being that well in general, honestly. But of course, I want to finish this off with arguably the saddest tweet of all of these that came out of Elon Musk's child roleplay, and it is one in reference to Grimes, which is the wife that Elon had for a little while until he went insane and bought Twitter, in which she is the mother of X, uh, like, cheat code kid, as well as three other kids, which I actually had to look up for this. I had no clue. There are three kids he had with Grimes, and all of their names are dumb as shit. I mean, they're silly. They're goofy. There's, of course, th the one that I keep saying, as well as a two-year-old named Exa Dark Sidrail, as well as another one named Techno Mechanicus. Are you birthing Autobots? But of course, getting back on track, there was a tweet sent out by, of course, Elon's child and not him that says, Grimes left the king of SpaceX? Laughing, crying emoji, laughing, crying emoji. Her kids must hate her. They probably want to spend all their time with Mr. Tesla. <laughs> and knowing that that is coming from Mr. Tesla himself makes this unfathomably depressing. I'm sad. I got kind of sad reading that. You know his ass was laying in his bed typing this with like a tear, a single tear going down his cheek that falls onto his shoulder and then rolls all the way down and then like finds its way to his phone and he sees it and then makes friends with it and then it becomes some sort of Studio Ghibli film. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. And that initial exposure happened in April of 2023 and honestly no one heard about it probably because Elon spent all of his remaining money to try and make sure this would go nowhere on the internet but a month later Elon ended up tweeting out a picture of his kid as well as adding Erna Musk the account that he, supposedly is his kid, not him at all. But I find that so funny that he's just like, by the way, guys, that's who it is, not me. I I would never do something like that. And then somehow a year later, like exactly a year later, because the first one was in April of 2023, and this is April of 2024, he was out it again. People started talking about it again, and of course his most mature and reasonable response to that was banning the account. <laughs> it's gone. He cleaned up, he cleaned his traces up, because why would you want to delete all these tweets when you could just ban it? Which is so sad. Now I'll never be able to see what happened, what these tweets were, or what he could have been saying on this account. I wish there was some sort of way to look at an internet archive. I wish there was a way to go way back. Uh, uh, that wasn't funny. There's a way back machine. It's a thing called a way back machine, and I literally just dug in and saw his old account. It literally is just him being like, X, you make me the happiest. This is a lot more accurate with an AI generated picture of Elon sitting on some, like, African plains with Elon Bran, some Elon themed cereal. I would love to get some of that. I feel like if I were to eat that and it were to get wet, it would stop working. But of course, I'm getting distracted. There is a second account, the Baby Smurf 9000 account, which arguably. It ain't much, really. It's not that crazy. It, it, if you scroll through it, a lot of it is just him, like, laughing, crying emoji, reacting to his own tweets, or going like, Wow! <laughs> Exclamation point! <laughs> laughing, crying emoji! <laughs> laughing, crying emoji! He seems to be laughing a lot, and crying. 
too. A little bit of a teehee, a little bit of a ba! Just, he's a very kind-hearted, high-spirited guy, and isn't Elon in any way at all. The only two tweets that really stuck out to me were one in response to Mark Cuban, who is notoriously an Elon Musk nemesis. He's another billionaire. He is a shark. He looks like this. I think he likes basketball. And one time he was talking about how he's like, I have to say, over the last 24 hours, I find X to be a warm and welcoming. The diversity of responses, both tone and content, have been heartwarming. I did have to block one account with a large number of followers. I wonder, I wonder who that could have, I wonder if that could have been. <laughs> I think that baby smurf knows because he said you are an idiot <laughs> like why <laughs> what did he say to deserve that i like it's very obviously elon you're not hiding very well you're like wearing a mask and just saying your name out loud the other one that i thought was really funny that just completely ripped the mask off his face was when someone was tweeting about how this whole idea where they were limiting the amount of tweets you could send in a day was a stupid decision and his response was you are an idiot <laughs> i think i might have heard that one before <laughs> he has like seven different things he says ever elon musk despite being considered a genius inventor and billionaire despite not inventing anything has the linguistic complexity of one of those dogs that press buttons to tell you what they want to say. But speaking of linguistic complexity, I am all out of words for now. I appreciate you guys spending some time with me though, and of course like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you are new. I'm gonna be hitting the road, but first before I go, I'm going to kill this funny yellow man. This is a fake knife, YouTube. <laughs> I hope the mic heard him scream. He screamed. Uh, let me just... And as oh, no more. And as always, adios, arrivederci, <laughs> goodbye, good night. And uh, Elon is a moron. Minion, banana. Ah! Oh God, I'm get out of my video.